All right, this is part two of how we're going to get our uh, Netflix and our Amazon Prime. How we're going to watch that when we're off grid, or at least we don't have any kind of connection to the internet. So part one of this uh, video was how we download uh, some of this content back here from our uh, Netflix and our Prime and our HBO. So watch that if you haven't um, already watched that so you understand a little bit better what's going on here in a minute. But to start off for today, we're going to start off uh, to do this up in the bedroom. Now, to get this set up, you need some kind of a um, router to create a Wi-Fi connection that both your phones, your laptops, and your TVs can all connect to. That have to be internet connected to that, but they, it just needs a Wi-Fi signal that uh, everything connect to. So let's go up front and take a look at, uh, at what I've got for that. Now I put this uh, up here uh, in the bedroom. I got this little router. Come over here and we'll take a look. It is, I just keep it in this cabinet. One day maybe I'll mount it, but it works. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fix it. But this is a tiny little router. It's a GL iNet, I think it's called. I'll put a link to it in the description. But it's tiny, diminutive, it works. Um, uh, the best thing about it is it uh, it runs completely off of, I don't know if you can see that, runs completely off of a USB. So it doesn't require 120 volts because if you're off grid, uh, a lot of times you don't have uh, 120 volt power. So running off of 5 volt is fantastic. So let's, uh, let's go take a little bit of look at what that router is and how it works and what it does. Okay, just a real quick on this uh, router. This is not going to be a how-to video on how to set up the router. Um, there's a pretty good video on the Amazon link. You can just take a look at that, but it's pretty much plug and play. Set it up and you're good to go. But I just want to show you this. I am currently uh, have my router connected to uh, my uh, Wi-Fi uh, at the house, which means I'm also connected to the internet in here. So I'm going to shut that off so you know I'm not cheating. But uh, also, that, that's part of the reason why mine's all the way up front, good place for it, because it's pointing towards the house. A little, my router's a, or my uh, internet connection for the house is probably about 50 yards away. But then uh, being up front, it also allows me to connect to the uh, camper when I'm towing down the road. And, you know, I can, other things that are good for the Wi Fi. I've got uh, Victron set up and I can see my system and what's going on with it and charging. And I've got temperature your setups for um you know especially the fridge and you go down the road you just kind of take an eye on it every once in a while make sure it's cooling uh everything looks the same as far as temperatures go because i'm just sitting in the driveway everything's off but uh another reason just to have it up front <clears throat> so like i said i'm connected to my uh home system which means i'm connected to the internet so i'm going to shut that off shut our internet connection off and tell it yes i want to shut it off and it says su suggest i'm shut it off and then if you look up here um there's no i don't have any internet connections all this stuff is ghosted out it was i should have showed you a minute ago but it was lit up it was lit up like this so i am disconnected from the internet just like i'm off uh, in a state park national park have no internet so now we're going to look at how we get that content from part one up onto our TV. Okay, here we are in the bedroom at the TV, and this is a TCL Roku TV. And Roku is about the hardest uh, for me to figure out. That's one of the reasons made me think to do this video. So I'll show you, show you how we do it. So to start off with, we need to. Uh, this is the screen that pops up when you first turn the TV on. So we need to find settings. If you look at the screen, there are no settings there. It looks like there's plenty of room to put settings. But uh, if we scroll down, you see settings pop up at the bottom. But before I go any further, if you look, it says uh, requires featured free, requires a network connection. Please check your network. So again, we don't have any network hooked up, so we're not cheating. Uh, no internet connection. So we're going to scroll down to settings and get to settings. And we'll slide over. And then again, uh, we, we need to look for something that's not here. So if we scroll down to system, can I see system come up at the bottom? So we keep coming down to system and we get there, we move over 
And then the next thing we want to see is screen mirroring. So we come down to that, screen mirroring, and then scoot over. And that says screen mirroring mode. And right now you can see prompt is checked. There's an always allow and a never allow. If you click never allow, you won't be able to do what we're getting ready to do. Um, always allow might let somebody else that's uh, close to you with the Roku TV and knows uh, what they do to uh, get into your TV system. So uh, always leave it on prompt and that way it'll tell me if uh, something's trying to connect to it, but it will still allow me to connect to it. So once we do that, we're good to go. So the next thing, uh, good to go on the TV. So the next thing we need to do is uh, get out the phone and we're uh, almost there to get our uh, content up on the TV. Okay, next thing, if I can do this laying here, that will be a miracle. So this is an Android phone. Um, if a few people uh, mentioned in the comments they'd like to see it how to do it on iPhone, maybe I'll do that too. But uh, Android phone, you pull down that top bar and then pull it all the way down again. And then most of the time you're going to either have to scroll down some more or my particular phone, you scroll right. And then on my phone, you see here it says Smart View. Now, uh, different Android phones will say different things. They'll say screen mirroring or uh, mirror cast or there's several different connotations that it could be. But you need to find that Smart View or something probably with a cast in the name because we're going to cast our screen to our TV. So if I go ahead and hit our smart view, all right, smart view. All right, there we go. So that opens up. All right, never fails. Battery died, so I had to plug it in. So we're plugged in, so let's try this again. So pull that down. We gotta go over. We find our smart view or our mirror cast or a screen cast or whatever uh, it may be called. And we click on it. And then a screen comes up with a, a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need to pay too much attention to. But you need to scroll all the way to the bottom. And all the way to the bottom, you'll see it says Reflection. That's just the name of uh, my Wi-Fi. It's the name of my uh, camper, so it's also the name of my Wi-Fi. And it says Mirror Screen. All right, so that's what we want to do. We want to mirror screen. And then let's uh, see if we can catch what happens on the TV. And then it goes to this screen. And then it says start mirroring video. And then you see my uh, phone screen now comes up on the TV. So now I want to go over to my Netflix app. Let's use that one first. And we'll click on my Netflix. And it comes up. Tell them it's me. And then we want to go to my downloads. We're going to watch something there. And uh, we'll just pick something uh, from uh, my downloads. And it loads up. And it is starting to play. There it is. Get the sound turned down because YouTube will cut that stuff off a lot of times. So there it is. I have no internet connection and we're watching my Netflix on the TV. That is it for the Roku. Okay, and finally, the Fire Stick. Uh, the Fire Stick or the Fire TVs or the Google Chromecast or the Google TVs or the Walmart Sticks. All of, the, all of those are uh, Android based and so they are uh, very easy to uh, cast the phone to the TV. <clears throat> so here's my downloads again. Let's uh, open up uh, one just like we did before and then once it starts playing see the symbol uh, up here in the corner whoops tap the screen again so the symbol will show up. You just press that 
Um, I've got a few fire devices, so it's going to ask me which one. And then, if we watch up here, it takes it a minute sometimes to connect. Uh, it does know that we're trying to play Anna, and then there it goes. It's playing. So casting from the my downloads on my phone to uh, my fire uh, stick devices. So that's it. Very simple. Um, very simple to uh, to do. So check part one for how to do the downloads. This one here for how to get the downloads off of your phone and onto your TV wirelessly. And enjoy the camping life.